I can remember my first bull like it was yesterday. The images have been burned into my memory bank pretty hard. It wasn't perfect by any means. It wasn't that one shot kill that I dreamt about. In fact, if it wasn't for my dad helping me out, he may have gotten away. And now when I go back into that country where it all went down, it's almost a spiritual experience. Something that I find impossible to describe in these few words. All right, it's opening morning, 2019. General elk, deer season. Koi's first hunt here, at rifle hunt. He we bow hunted a little bit. We hiked in here in the dark and we've been going through this. It's a pretty good storm blowing in, so we've been going through this uh, country here. And uh, we looked across the other side here. And there's, uh, I think, a couple bulls just went into that timber up there. So we're gonna try to get over there and see if we can make something happen. All right, so we got a little update here. We. Uh, didn't ever catch up to them elk. They, uh, we did a little circle around the back side of this, hoping to catch them in this lodge pole. And we didn't get them caught, but uh, we built a fire. It was pretty cold, storming. So we built this fire, and, and we're going to kind of wait them out. Hopefully they'll get up and start feeding, and we can have a better go at them. I think there was three bulls in that bunch. I got to, we got to look at two of them. I'm pretty sure that other one was a bull too. Yeah, it was kind of a busted deal. The wind, wind was storming, and they were in a good location, but it wasn't uh, wasn't meant to be. We might try to come in on them again tomorrow. All right, so we backpacked in. Second day of season. We got the teepee tent and the stove in there. Got a little fire cracking. We're gonna try to dry her out a little bit, but I don't think she's gonna get too dry. All right, we ready to go find us a bull? Yeah. Backpacked in, we're about four miles from the main road. Hasn't been anybody in there hunting. Thought we'd be in on some elk, but we just went out and glassed and well, there wasn't much going on. All right, here's where we spent camp last night. Made camp right here. We're in on a blizzard coming on here. Trying to get our last little bit of heat here. What do you think, Coy? What do you think about elk hunting? First year elk hunting. <laughs> did, you, did you think it'd be this tough? Yeah. Did you? All right. You should do good then. We uh, packed in here and we were hoping to have a little better luck. We seen one bull way off, way, way off, just before dark last night and that's been it. And then this morning it was just socked in. We couldn't hardly go anywhere. The snow's starting to really pile up. So we're gonna head back to base camp and uh, regroup. We got some elk spotted right over here. We're gonna go and try to get one of these.
You hit him? I think so. Just be quiet, they're gonna come back and blow us in again. Place one right behind his shoulder. Can we get one right behind his head? Hey, Coy, just take your time. Don't shoot yet. Two twenty. So hold right now on. Right on him. Yep. Oh, you got him good. Stop. Oh, you got Just wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. It's a five, five, five. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Good job, son. First elk. How's it feel? <sighs> Feels great. Uh, that was quite a hunt there. I'll give you a little recap of the morning's hunt. We left camp pretty early and started climbing up this ridge right there in the background. Right up there. And it was getting daylight. We were about right behind these trees, but we were up on top there. And I looked over across here on this side. And these elk were up into there feeding up. So we made this plan, we cut down, got into a draw, kind of open country. It's kind of a lot different than what we've been hunting. And uh, we ended up getting within, I'd say about 280 to 300 yards of them. It was kind of snowing and foggy and my rangefinder wouldn't pick up. But that's about what we figured him at. And Coley shot and got a pretty good bullet in, I think. We can't really tell. He ended up having to get a couple more shots on him, but um, got him down pretty quick. And, and yeah, now we're packing, packing the last load. We got one load already packed down, and we're going up for the second one. We'll go up and see Coy. He's up there. He took off a little before I did. 
said he needed a head start, but I don't really think he did. I don't think he stopped the whole way up here. But. Coy's bull, chilling out. Gonna have some tenderloins for dinner tonight. It's gonna get cold tonight. Damn cold. All right, this is kind of a funny way to cook tenderloin, but about 10 below outside. Threw some briquettes in the wood stove. I bent the grill. We got a couple of tenderloins cooking in there. I already cooked some potatoes, sweet potatoes, and got some green beans on the top. They were frozen solid. Alright, here's how she's going down. Yeah, yeah. Elk tenderloin. We're gonna put a little butter on top of that bad boy. Like that, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up. Let that sit. Run the stove. Got potatoes. Sweet potatoes. We got tenderloin. Got some green beans. Yeah. You seen some elk today? Yeah, we seen some elk. <clears throat> We're at. You're eating some right now. You quite you shot yourself a bowl? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Poor guy out the deal. <laughs> Sound of music, you ever seen that? Huh? When they're all singing and dancing, spinning around. Alright, ready? <laughs> oh! Hold you over? <laughs> <laughs>